Well, this is the fifth child that I fostered, and they all, I mean, obviously I wouldn't do this if I didn't love it, but they've all just, they add so much to your life. Call it being in the right place at the right time, or simply call it fate. It's a miracle of sorts that four-year-old Sammy Hyde Lee Mariam from Ethiopia is even sitting on Beverly Brandwine's lap. She was discovered by chance at a clinic in Israel by one of Dr. Alejandro Bernstein's nurse managers. I said, you got to see this kid. And we saw this beautiful, beautiful kid with this significant problem, knew immediately what it was. It was a massive venous malformation, which if left untreated, can be deadly. So imagine varicose veins in the leg. This is not the same because it's different, but for you to understand, he's like imagine varicosities, collections of blood vessels in the, in the face that cannot empty the blood, so they keep on expanding. It took a tremendous amount of work and the help of the non-profit group International Children's Outreach Network. But Sammy was eventually brought to the U.S. to have life-changing surgery at the Vascular Birthmark Institute of New York. Dr. Milton Weiner heads up the institute along with Dr. Berenstein. Operating or attempting to do surgery on these children is, without any help, is, is almost uniform, uniformly fatal. Because the surgery is so intricate, Dr. Weiner and Dr. Berenstein combined their skills to tackle Sammy's case. What they came up with was a new approach. Dr. Bernstein will inject sclerosins into the venous malformation and this, is, this causes clotting off of these big huge blood vessels and when it's sufficiently clotted off I can go in and remove it. 24 hours later it was time for the surgery. So we're ready to take her in, everything looks fine. The injections had done their job and the doctors were confident the growth was firm enough to remove without risking any significant blood loss. With one last snuggle, Beverly and Sammy disappear into the operating room. It took a little over three hours to remove the mask due to the sheer size of it. But as Dr. Weiner said after the surgery, he was exceptionally pleased with the results. I believe that I got the vast majority of it, well over 90 percent of it. She may have a little residual uh, disease under skin but it's not going to be a major problem nothing that that she had and uh, she's going to look fine I shortened her upper lip in two vectors I shortened it in the vertical and the horizontal vector so it's come to line nicely I'm very happy the venous malformation is out and uh, she's fine I think she'll bounce right back Sammy was released from the hospital the next night and for the next few months, she'll be watched closely to see if she will need any nips and tucks. After that, the sky is the limit for this brave little girl. I mean, it's just incredible what they go through. But they get to go home to a better life. For more information about International Children's Outreach Network, go to iconforkids.org.